Doobie on James Hayden. He's doing the navigational duties. So Stuart Latham in his first two runs out here. I thought he was uh, playing pretty sedate. He's now started to get that wriggle on, started to uh, get things working a hell of a lot better. That rain will be playing absolutely havoc straight into the eyeballs, blocking up the vision. Oh, he got a fog down big time there. That's not where you want to get a fog down. The hairpin, you lose a lot of time going around that. Now around Eltherm Island, between Eltherm up the uh, Mickelson Transport straight there, into the Eltherm sweeper. He's gone wrong way. He's gone wiggle, wobble, wiggle, wobble. Got himself completely lost. Oh, lost power. Don't know what has happened there. Yeah, I think uh, what's happened there, ladies and gentlemen, is Stuart Latham has actually got wrong way. Uh, yep, he got wrong way, so uh, that's why he eased it down at the end of that run. He wasn't too sure where he was, and that is a disappointing end of the day for the Western Australian. James Hayden, the navigator, will be absolutely gutted as well. These guys, another team that just had so much... Uh, you know, last minute work to do on the boat. All right, Dean Riddick out there. Aaron Riddick, these guys, this is their uh, first race meeting. They're from New Plymouth Local Boys. Get behind them. Dean Riddick, the business owner and photographer. Aaron Riddick, the sales rep for Hazard Co. NZ. And uh, I'll tell you what, I've been very impressed with the way these boys have gone about it. They uh, got the track direction wrong in their first qualifying run. In their second and third qualifying runs, they got it all right. They built up the confidence. Now they are start, slowly starting to work on boat speed, handling and cornering. And wow, Dean Riddick, the rookie, has just nailed that hairpin. Fantastic run from these guys, and he's just, uh, yep, he's gone wrong way. I'll tell you what, I was so impressed. He got the nail, the hairpin, now he's up to the top of the track. He does have this opportunity to uh, re-correct himself. I'm not too sure that they real he realises what he's done. He's gone wrong way, but I dare say that that's going to be the end of it. I right, do apologise, ladies and gentlemen. I got myself a little bit confused there. Turns out Dean Riddick did get a time of 48.158. He did go the correct way. So uh, great news there for the rookies. out on the water. Bay Rice doing the navigational duties. Another New Plymouth team. Elite Kitchens, the sponsors here. FBA New Zealand as well. And uh, wow, they bought themselves a fantastic package. This Stinger Hull is a, uh, one of the best going around. They got themselves a good deal on that one. The horsepower about 76. Oh, he launched it out. That just shows you the raw power of a jet sprit boat, got it up and nearly buried it back on the landing. Sean Rice there, that would have been a moment. He was looking skyward, then he was looking waterward. And Sean Rice into P1 with a 45.537. Great work from the rookie. Yeah, I tell you what, Jase, he uh, has done some good lines. You might as well grab that other microphone there, mate. Apparently there's one there, and uh, you can sort of hang out with me a little bit, mate. Hang out with the cool kids in the commentary tower. In the dry as well, yes. All right, Harry Whelan now. MF King. Jason Conroy. 
doing the navigational duties. Jason Conroy is from Pungarehu. Pungarehu it is. Harry Wheels from Lower Hut, the design student. Jason Conroy, the shepherd. MF King and Motorsport. Conroy Associates. Into Ireland, the Bytals Online, Capital City C2 as well. So Harry Whelan's uh, had a lot of trouble with the engine last year. It threw a leg out a bit, took a little bit of time to get it back on the water. Great to see uh, this pair back for the 2016-17 season. Well, not too bad in that hairpin. Gee, I'll tell you what, there's everybody's taking a different line in and out the hairpin now. Up into that top part of the course, split the two islands. Harry Whelan's seems to have the issues that he had uh, earlier in the day, ironed out a little bit and across the line, straight into P1 with a 44.983 so Harry Wheel and straight to the top of the table in the Group A thus far Phil Dick, Jet Co Design, the Hyper Sprint. Now I'll tell you what, keep an eye on this one, ladies and gentlemen. Phil, the last time out, was rubbing tyres. He was up on the grass. He should have been a mowing contractor. So he ne really needs to nail this one. Oh, Phil Dick, bang. Oh, he's done it again. How's he kept it in the water? Unbelievable. He's got a gut full of mud into the intake of the jet unit. Just missed our timing loop. I tell you what, Phil Dick is just either blessed or very unlucky. I tell you, he's still trying to get the mud out of that unit, clear its throat, and uh, no, it doesn't seem to be uh, seem to be going. I'll tell you what, he's he must think he rubbed that many islands out there. He must think a genie's going to pop out of the track somewhere. He has been all, absolutely all over the place. I don't know if he's in the right sport. Maybe motocross is probably the sport there. No, the uh, the hyper sprint doing uh, well, doing quite well. Phil, he's actually uh, reasonably new to the sport. This is about his uh, second or third meeting. So uh, just try to get a few of the uh, issues sorted out. And uh, you saw the back of the boat let go there around that right-hander. And, uh, well, nearly took out the timing loop. But that will be the end of the day for Phil. So old uh, Hayden Digby-Smith diggers there in the navigator's seat. Well, I'll tell you what, I reckon he's a brave man the way Phil's been going today. That's what we like to see, bravery. Looks like uh, Andy Ryan in the white boat, the Joker, coming out on the track now. Carl Brenswell in the maroon boat, Maroon 2, uh, sitting down there as well. But it will be Andy Ryan in the Joker. Kerry Ann Allen is doing the navigational duties and they're from... New Zealand. They're from New Zealand. They're from Pata Hanui or something. Pata Hanui. The Joker out on track. The hull is a stinger. And I'll tell you what, the boy isn't scared of it. He's been absolutely uh, powering through uh, so far today. He's made a few errors. Nearly buried himself at the uh, into that hairpin earlier in the day. Probably washed off a little bit of speed here. He realises that there's a couple of blokes who've fallen out, like Stuart Latham and Phil Dick. Doesn't need to push it too hard in this top 12 to be able to progress into the uh, top eight. And he's gone wrong way. He missed the hairpin. He's done it again. Andy Ryan is not aware that he has gone wrong way. The Joker, the joke's on him. That is a DNF for Andy Ryan and Carrie Ann Allen. They missed the hairpin. He will be absolutely gutted. So that is the end of the day for the Joker. So, so far, 
out of six boats in the Group A. We've only got three boats that have actually finished the rotation. Wow. Wow, that is unbelievable. We know that after the lunch break, people tend to slow down a little bit because they put a few carbs in their body, put on a little bit of weight, but to have three out of, uh, yeah, three out of six going the wrong way and uh, not progressing any further in the day is uh, quite phenomenal. Carl Brenzel now, Hamish Murray is the navigator from Tapa Nui. Carl Brenzel also from Tapa Nui. And wow, well, these guys have uh, been driving fairly smoothly. Will we put the commentators' turns on them? Carl Brenzel now off the line. Marooned two is the boat. It is a stinger hull and uh, sits very, very high in the water. This boat looks pretty loose. That's the way Carl likes to set up. And the rain absolutely pelting down at the moment, but it is a water sport. So uh, Carl really hammering it at the moment. Hamish Murray, the split was looking pretty good. Carl Brenzel now up to that top part of the track. Try and get the vision right down into this bottom part of the track. Oh, big uh, heavy wheel movement there. Carl Brenzel straight to the top with a 43.180. 43 that is... Uh, 1.1 seconds quicker than Harry Whelan's. I'll tell you what, we've got some of Andy Ryan's crew in here and they're just going left, 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 yelling at him. All right, uh, Ross Travers now, radioactive. Shane Travers doing the navigational journey. We call him Super Mario. He hates it. That's why we love calling him Super Mario. These guys are from Wanganui. They got second uh, last year in the Group B. Won the 2015 in the Group B category. Stepped up to the Group A category and have been acquitting themselves beautifully all day. And I'll tell you what, Ross Travers has been doing such a good job, except for that right into that speed, uh, into that big hairpin. We've seen very, very few people get in and out of there comfortably. So Ross Travers... Shane Travers, the apprentice engineer. And Ross Travers now upsets Carl Brenzel straight to the top with a 42.017 and 1.1 seconds quicker than Carl Brenzel. So the top of the tree is starting to get shooken, shaken. I'll just go back to my dictionary and learn a little bit of English on the way through if you don't mind. Novus Auto Glass now. Cy Gibbon is the driver. Novus Auto Glass showing your crack is the name. Paul Tomo Thompson, they're from North Canterbury. Making the big trek up here. The hull is at jet speed. These guys have been in the mix all day. Now is the final time. We are going from top 12 into top 8. These guys, if they can keep the pace up that they've been going through for the day, they should be okay to progress. Oh, the boat really, uh, tell you what, they got in and out of there not too bad. The boat hopping and jumping, but, you know, that airbin is just causing so many nightmares for every competitor. And Cy Gibbon now across the line in a 42.058 and into P2, 0.04 seconds slower than Ross Travers who remains in P1 for this sudden death top 12 in the international Group A category. All right, Bevan Muir. Now coming out on track, Kendra Death is doing the navigational duties, Teng Tools Racing. Bevan Muir has won a couple of uh, New Zealand championships in the Group A category, 
And, uh, well, that was many years ago. He's put on a couple of kegs or so since then. That might be slowing him down just a little bit. We can say that, you know. Uh, Round is still a shave. Bevan Muir now off the line. Team Tools Racing. Toyota Finance, Valley Toyota, Hydrolink, Prosper Mortgages and Insurance. Bevan Muir occasionally has those brain fades. Let's hope that he has the track rotation sorted out. The boat speed looks okay. He's gone wrong way. He's gone wrong way. That was the brain fade we were talking about. Bevan Muir has just thrown plenty of time onto the clock and he's bogged it into there. He's nearly thrown a bow wave straight up over the top. Now he's going to have to hustle. He's really going to have to charge hard to beat this time. So Bevan Muir. 50.29. 50.29. So well down the list there. So Stuart Latham. So Bevan Muir is in P7. Stuart Latham went wrong way. Andy Ryan went wrong way. Phil Dick went wrong way. And Bevan Muir was one second up on the entire class at that first split. And now he finds himself in P7. Ollie Silverton now. Jess Sit is the navigator. Ollie Silverton from Hamilton Drainage Systems. Magnum Automotive, Munich Sheet Metals, GJ Garden Hose. Ollie Silverton in the Sprint Tech G Force. Jess Sit is the marketing manager for PSP, Clearview, and Sun Tough Translucent Roofing. If you're looking for decent roofing, make sure you contact the guys at PSP. It is red hot, I can tell you that. Ollie Silverton has been doing a great job all day. Came out in qualifying round number one, full of confidence, set a very quick time. And, uh, well, they certainly not got any hesitation about the rotation at this point. Nice entrance, nice exit from that all important hairpin. And I'll tell you what, I think that this is going to be a good time. Alright, Ollie Silverton across the line and into P3 with a 43.035 and still a second down on the time that Ross Travers set. So at the moment, that will now put Bevan Muir and Kendra Death on the bubble. If the bubble bursts, they will not progress. And remember that Bevan Muir in the Ten Tools machine was one second up at the first split compared to everybody else. The wrong way cost him heaps. Will that cost him the end of the day? We are about to find out. Neil Marshall, Michelle Reed, Eagle Automotive. Neil Marshall, as we said earlier, put the boat to the bottom of the lake. They had to send divers down about a month ago and uh, recover the boat 15 metres down. It took some time to locate the boat. So as you can imagine, there was a lot of work in the full rebuild of this boat. So Neil Marshall now out on track. I love this track rotation, the speed. Right now it gets tight, it gets tricky. This is where you've now got to think, you've got to concentrate. Now to the far side of the track, into that right-hander, come back towards commentary, into the left-hander, round the bottom speed bolt, hairpin. Oh, not too bad. Michelle Reed, these guys from New Plymouth. Neil Marshall, the industrial coatings inspector. Michelle Reed is a nurse. And this is going to be pretty good, I think. Neil Marshall into P3 with a 42.767. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the end of Bevan Muir and Kendra Death. That wrong way has really cost them, uh, well, cost them plenty. So... Alright, we've still got Rick Berg and Elf Kill to go, reigning world champions in the Group A category. Just to let you know, we are now going to go back to Group B after the Group A uh, with the Superboats. We will come back to them after we run through the Group Bs. So, these guys 
on track, triple two, are your reigning world champion in the Group A category. And so these guys uh, from Hamilton, an absolute crack as these blokes. Firewater is the name of the boat. It's got a Scott eight and a half inch pump. Horsepower, 627, fairly specific on the horsepower number. Their first rotation was absolutely all over the shop. This time, it looks as though Rick Berg just has it sorted out. Elf Kill, during the lunch break, was sitting down talking to him. Nice work in and out of the hairpin. Now up the Mickelson Transport straight into the top part of that track. Oh, I'll tell you what, nice line out of there. Didn't wash out any boat speed at all. Now foot foot to the floor. Rick Berg, Elf Kill, uh, Pete Bree. So at the moment, Ross, the way it finishes after the Group A's, Ross Travers unofficially will get the official everything, but I'm looking at the computer screen. Ross Travers, one, Simon Given, two, Rick Berg, three, Neil Marshall, four, Ollie Silverton, five, Carl Brenzel, six, Harry Whelan, seven. The rookies, Sean Rice, will make the top eight. Unfortunately for Dean and Aaron Riddick, the local blokes, also rookies, just missed out on moving into the top eight. So that is how it is going to look. And it is goodbye to those people who got the rotation.